Hi everyone! So today is Valentine's Day. I have no clue what we are talking about today. We're just going to vibe because, yeah. So in case you haven't noticed, this is my horse Phoenix. He's really pretty. He's cool. Anyway, let's go train. Yeah, this is a training video. I remember growing up, I would be so, so depressed if I wasn't able to, like, go out on Valentine's Day or if I wasn't able to go out for Halloween with friends because, like, all my friends moved away. And when I was trying to make new friends or when I was trying to do anything else, like, I really, really couldn't because, like, a lot of people just don't vibe with me or they think I'm, like, really weird. So that's great. <laughs> so... I was always, like, sad, because I was like, I have no one to hang out with. It's, like, depressing. But I made some, like, new friends over the past recent years, and a few of them were honestly so toxic to talk to and be around that I have given up completely on making new friends and making new relationships. So if you're alone on Valentine's Day, there's no reason to be sad, because it was meant to be. You are, for some reason, we just are supposed to not be with anybody. And it could make you sad, but you have to think of it like this. Well, what if I was dating somebody and they treated me terribly? Then I would be even more sad. Because like the last person I was in a relationship with, oh my god, they were so heartless. Like genuinely, I've never been around a more heartless person. They literally had no emotion. Like they did not care about anybody except themselves and it was just so devastating because they'd make fun of me all the time they were rude to me they they were rude to my friends they were rude to a lot of people you know what i mean they're just like miserable in the worst way possible and they yeah they were like incapable of love and i can't help people like that and they would drag me down with them all the time so what i've realized is that like sometimes you just have to like give up on love and then find it within yourself <laughs> I have friends now. I have like three friends I'm close to, but because I have those three friends and I have experiences of making bad friends, I realize that I no longer need to do this like ever again, you know? Like I have the friends I have and that's it. And I have the experiences I have and that's that. So at least for me, I don't really feel FOMO anymore when it comes to missing out on going out to parties or going out with people because I really don't like going out. I really hate leaving the house because I have like really bad like mental problems. So I'd rather just like stay home. There is times where I can go out, but I have to plan the event like a month in advance so I have time to prepare for it mentally. <laughs> so yeah. But like even if I don't have to prepare for it, I just I I like being by myself. Like it sounds like kind of rude, but like a lot of people just like being by themselves and that's okay. Like I like having my friends, I like being able to text them, I like being able to talk to them. But it's okay to want space, you know what I mean? Like it's okay to be like, hey, I'm gonna log off for like a week. I'm gonna stay in my room for a week, you know? It's okay as long as you're like healthy and that's what's meant for you, obviously, because I'm introverted. The best way I could phrase it is that like introverted people, they need to get away from people to recharge their energy but extroverted people need to be around people to recharge their energy. And yeah, I just am okay with being introverted. For the longest time I was like, I'm an extrovert, that's why I'm always sad, but then I realized like, no, you're sad because you're supposed to be alone. People are draining you. You know what I mean? Like, there's no point in me fighting to find a great relationship or even more friends. Because, like, if I'm comfortable with being alone, why do I need more people, you know? And what if you meet new people and they are terrible and they want to hurt your feelings, you know? Like, I'd much rather avoid that situation. And you could say to me, you're just scared of people. Yes, because why would I want to waste my time on somebody who wants to hurt me? It's not worth it. Like, you could be a lot happier by yourself the once you accept being by yourself. Because, like, you shouldn't need other people to be happy. Because I used to use people as a way to be happy. I used to think, I need somebody or I'm going to be so sad. But people don't complete you. They just make your life better. So if you need people to complete you, you got to fix that. Because what if that person leaves you? You're going to feel empty again. So if what I do is that I'm 
okay by myself. Like, I'm complete by myself. Like, if I could marry myself, I would. You know what I mean? But although I might want some people in my life, they don't complete me. They just add to the, I guess, add to the, like, fun. You know, because if you meet new people and you expect them to complete you and they don't meet that expectation, you're going to be more sad. And that's, like, not really the vibe. But yeah, I used to be really, really sad when I couldn't go to parties and I couldn't hang out with friends or do things because they live too far away or maybe they moved out or no one wants to invite me places. There's a lot of times where I don't get invited to places because people think I'm insane and like, yeah, I have mental issues, but like, I'm not gonna like destroy your party, <laughs> but whatever. So yeah. Also, if somebody goes out of their way to not invite you and you have to like fight with them to get them to take you places or invite you places, it just shows that you don't need them. Because if they truly, because if you truly need it and wanted them, then they would make an effort too. Why do you have to make the effort? Like, I hate how, like, that's another thing too. In relationships, I hate how people I've been with, they expect me to do something for them, but they put in literally zero effort. Like, bro, it's equality. It's 50% per person, you know? So, because, like, if I'm in a relationship, it's me and the person I'm with. We should be giving equal energy. Why do I gotta put in 99% and you put in 1%? This is why I give up on people. Because I don't need to have them in my life. Like, I have who I have now and that's that. Like, I don't need any more people. I really, really don't. So yeah, I'm okay with celebrating Valentine's Day by myself because with the experiences I've had with making new friends or making new relationships, it was terrible. I hope all of that made sense, but basically... Yeah, you gotta be content with yourself. I'm not saying love yourself. Because, like, whenever I see that, like, love yourself post, I get, like, so angry. Like, do self-love. Love yourself. It's so cringy to me. I cannot do it. So I just say, like, be content with yourself or, like, stuff like that. But I'm also really ride or die for people. Like, I remember for most of my friends I've had that I've really, really grew attached to, I would be like, you know what? I would die for you because I love you, you know? We're besties. We're ride or die. And they'd be like, no, we're not. <laughs> you know, like for me, I I grow really, really attached to people really, really fast. I'm really, really clingy. So I feel like that's also a really good reason that I'm long distance with people because I don't have the option to annoy them, really, because you can't really be clingy or latch on to them when they are a thousand miles away. But I could also hate people just as easily. Like, there's been a few friends I got over the past few years who were not friends anymore. Because I realized that, like, there's no point in being ride or die for people who won't do the same back for me. Like, it's just not fair for me. Because, like, if I'm be loyal to you, then why can't you be loyal to me? That's also why I give up on people. Because they never want to match your energy. Like, literally, I will be so loyal to somebody. But then they won't do that back. I learned it the hard way, though, because I was being, like, ride or die for this YouTuber I was friends with. Was. Friends with. Was. Anyway. And then they were just, like, talking bad about me. And I'm like, bro, I would never do that to you. Ever. I would never do that. So the fact that somebody would just, like, ruin my trust like that, just... I can't do that again. No, we're not doing that. Like, like if you have no clue how to be a good friend to me or be a good partner to me, I'm cutting it off. I can't deal with it anymore. If you have to fight for love, it's not worth it. Because the person you're with, who you're friends with, or you're dating, should just know how to respect you. Like, do I really have to tell you to not be mean to me? Do I really have to tell you to not hit me? Do I really have to tell you, like, to be a good person? Like, why can't you do those things without me telling you? Obviously, you could be friends with people who aren't ride or die. But my problem with me, though, is that I get so loyal to people that I just can't help it. Like, I get so attached to people that even if they don't love me back, I'll still be hella attached. And I am so, like, I could love someone just as easy as I could hate them. Like, if you bother me, like, in any way, like, I'm just like, you know, I can't do it anymore. Like, I just can't. Like, let's say, for example, you're with somebody for a long time and you love them, but you respect them. But they don't do that for you. And it keeps, they keep doing it, you know? Like, I could love someone just as easy as I could hate them, you know? So, yeah. Like, there's been a few people in my life, 
I, oh my god. I know someone who was like, why can't you just tolerate people? No, I'm not gonna do that. You're not gonna walk into my, like, life and then be, like, disrespecting me. You don't walk into your friend's house and say, your couch is ugly. No, get out then. You don't walk into someone's channel and say, I hate your videos. Then, wa then, then watch somebody else. Like, oh my god. Like, it's really not that hard to respect people. It's so, so easy to just be, like, kind, you know? Yeah, it's a lot easier to be mean, but if you had some type of willpower, you would know how to be nice, like, for real. Like, if somebody is consistently making fun of you, hurting your feelings, and you tell them, hey, that's rude, and they keep doing it, they're not worth your time. They really, really aren't. So, I've learned to hate people as easy as I could love them. Because, yeah, I could love someone so easily. But if you're going to treat me terribly, then I could hate you just as easily. Get out. Like, for real. Anyway, so, you also don't need to be in a relationship. You could just have lots of friends, or no friends at all. You could just love yourself, or just be yourself. I don't know what to do, what to tell you. It's different for everybody. That's why I have no clue what to say about that. It's just my perspective, and that's that. But hopefully my perspective does help. Because there are people who hear my advice, and they're like, Yeah, I agree with that. I swear that love yourself stuff is so cheesy. I used to go on Instagram. And then I remember I would get a lot of posts that were like, love yourself, embrace your inner dragonfly or something, you know, like really cheesy stuff. And I'd, I would literally look at that, read it, and then I would get so mad I would throw my phone. It's so cringe to be like, just love yourself. Shut up. No, that's so stupid. Like, I'm going to go break a vase now. Thanks. Like, it's so annoying. It is cool when people want you to love yourself, obviously, in a cheesy way, but... I don't really believe in that, like, accept yourself mentality. Like, I kind of do a little bit, but not really, because, let's say, for example, I'm having a really bad day and I don't like the way I look, you know? I'm like, I hate the way I look, you know? Like, I wish that people love me for me. Like, I think I'd much rather somebody look at me and go, hey, I know how you feel, but what if we just improved? Like, you don't have to change for anybody. But a big reason why a lot of people are sad is because they hate the way they look. So if you just change for yourself, I feel like it's better. Like for me, like I hate when people tell me, just like the way you look, just be happy with how you look. No, like you could always be better, look better, do better things. Like that sounds, I feel like I offended a lot of people by saying that, but just from my experience, like I can't sit there and accept myself. I think it's so cringe. Like I'd much rather be like, you know what? I'm gonna start working out. I'm gonna start going for walks. I'm gonna start looking better and doing better things. Like, I'd much rather do that. It's just, it's so much more productive than being like, I'm perfect the way I am. Like, I can't do that. It's so cringe to me. Now, if you already are a perfect person and you want to, like, love yourself, go for it. I accept that 100%. But for people like me, <laughs> you know, like, I need to be like, you know what, we're gonna do better. We're gonna look better and, you know, yeah. There's a quote from Patrick Bateman where he's like, I forgot how it goes. I forgot how it goes. Wait, it's so good though. I forgot the quote, but it's a really good quote. Um, yeah. Obviously, if someone's gonna tell me like, well, we can't always use the look better mentality because some people have mental issues. And like, I get that, you know, because I have mental issues. But for me, my version of self-love is just looking better and being more productive. For some people, it's the opposite, and that's okay. And I know some could say, oh, well, it's easy for you to say that because you already have friends. Yeah, I do have friends. And if you have family too, it's, I feel like, sometimes easier for you to, I guess, be okay with being lonely or be okay with yourself because you already have somebody to talk to if you ever need to. But if you have, like, no friends or maybe even no family, it's way, way harder. But I'm sure there's a way to resolve that feeling of loneliness. Like, maybe sign up for a club or maybe join Discord or maybe get some type of hobby. I remember when I was a kid, I would latch onto my friends like they were the last people on Earth. And my mom would be like, why don't you do a hobby? Why don't we draw today? Because she would see how clingy I became towards my friends. Because it's like, I couldn't wake up without talking to my friends. I couldn't do anything without talking to my friends. Like, I had literally, every little moment was just me being like, where are my friends? Like, all day, all night, like, my friends. And she was like, why don't we do art? Why don't we do a hobby? Why don't we do something else? So I ended up taking up sewing. I don't do it anymore. 
but I could see where she was coming from because when you latch onto people, what if they leave you? Then you'll be hurt. But if you latch onto sewing or doing art, it's something, it's you. You can't leave yourself really. So yeah, that's just kind of where I'm coming from. I hope this video helped. Um, yeah, it was kind of rambly, but it is what it is. Happy Valentine's Day. And if you're having a sad Valentine's Day, then I hope that you feel better. <laughs> I'm sure there's like a way to feel better. Because I used to be really bad mentally, you know? But I feel like lately I've been feeling better because I've been reading more and I've been doing things that I love more. And when you do things you love, you feel less sad. And when you cut off people that hurt your feelings, you feel less sad too because they're not bothering anymore. So yeah, I hope that makes a lot of sense. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!